What's going on y'all? Welcome to this week's Quick Tip Tuesday. Today, I'm gonna to be going over three of the top spots to locate speckled trout during a low tide. But before we get into it, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. We put out content like this all the time. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel so y'all get to see that content next week and all of our future content as well. Um, also, we fished at 87th Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo this past weekend. Won first place speckled trout. This is the largest fishing tournament in the world. And we went out there, competed against some of the best, um, not only in Alabama, but all over the Gulf Coast and came out with a first place speckled trout win. So super proud of that, had an awesome weekend and uh, probably caught 60 trout or so. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and dive into Google Earth and get into what y'all came here to watch. All right, so this week we're talking about finding trout during a low tide, right? So um, we're gonna talk about three spots. We're gonna talk about docks, ditches, and depressions, all right? So the first thing we're gonna talk about is docks. Moving in here, typically, so we're talking about low tide, right? Typically, um, docks are going to be deeper than a lot of your, your other surrounding water um, because obviously you have boats that move in and out of here and a lot of people have their docks dredged out so their boats fit into the slip. So naturally you're going to see a lot deeper water around your docks. Now with that being said, when your bait gets flushed off, your, your flats and areas like this right here because the tide sucks that bait out they're naturally going to find these docks and what the what the bait is trying to do is get out of that current so they're going to get behind the pilings of these docks get into that current break so they can get a little bit of relief from that current now with that being said that's the obvious reason why a lot of your speckled trout um, and other game fish are going to look to come around these docks to find that bait fish so docks are always going to be a super productive spot especially during a low tide um, so always look to target speckled trout there uh, during this tide cycle all right so we talked about docks now we're going to move on to ditches all right so if you look on the map right here we have several what, what i would call ditches right so this is a pretty defined one right here all right so the deal is you got all these shallower areas right here. Tide's done pushed all that water off of there. Um, and, and your bait fish is getting swept out of there as well. And then this stuff really becomes pretty shallow water. These trout are gonna get in these ditches and just kind of hang out right here. Um, when they go to feed, they will ease up to the ledge because there will still be bait fish up on this shallower water and they'll go there to feed. But if you look to get on a drift around in here and throw in these ditches, this is one of the most productive spots to find speckled trout during a low tide. Um, this is a pretty good one right here. And you can see it kind of tapers out here, moves along, comes back in here. You got a little shallow area right there, but then it gets back deeper and the ditch kind of continues all the way on out. Same thing right here. Looks to me like you got a pretty good little ditch running through. Awesome little area. Oops, there we go. All right, and then kind of you got a bigger sweeping area. I wouldn't really consider that a ditch, but definitely a good spot to, uh, to throw. This is a good one right here. Moving along this way will be another one. Pretty good one right there. So we talked about docks, we talked about ditches. Now we're gonna talk about depressions, which this is uh, a little bit harder to find, but an extremely productive uh, area and, and one that you should never overlook. Uh, the thing about depressions is it takes a little bit of pre-planning uh, before you go out maybe to mark a little bit of depressions and areas that you want to fish. Uh, you can naturally locate a lot of them out there on the water, but if you know you're fishing a low tide to get onto Google Earth like this and kind of map it out and look for them um, and just kind of, you know, as soon as you hit the water, you know exactly where you're going and what you're looking for. Uh, so we're talking about depressions. This is a really good one right here, pretty defined. Um, same thing like that ditch, those trout are gonna get off of this bar right here where the, the water pushed out and they're gonna hang out in this little bit of deeper area. It's not much deeper, 
but it's a little bit deeper. Those trout can kind of get in there and it's a great spot for them to try to ambush these fish. Um, same thing goes, uh, that looks like a pretty good one right there. A little, it's not actually not a good one, but still a depression, good little spot. Move around here and see if we can't find some more good ones. Areas like this right here, it looks like it's a little bit darker. Looks like that could be a little depression. You got a little taper right there. So you're just looking for depressions, uh, good transitions from your sandbar, uh, your shallower little areas like this right here be a great spot to look for speckled trout. But uh, definitely not a spot to be overlooked. So that's this week's Quick Tip Tuesday. Three spots for targeting speckled trout during a low tide. Docks, ditches, and depressions. The three Ds of speckled trout for low tide fishing. But that's this week's episode. If you like it, make sure y'all hit the like button. Comment with any questions. Subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time.